My goodness, what a beautiful day. A little warmer today than it's been the past few days. Uh, today ain't hardly a cloud in the sky and kind of hot, but down here in this bottom, it feels absolutely wonderful. Well, especially riding on the golf carts, you get that little breeze too, but uh, anyway, me and little old Miss Stella's out here just riding around. Just looking, enjoying life. But anyway, I was, uh, man, I am so excited. I, um, I've had something I've wanted to do for a long time and talked about it and talked about it and just, for whatever reason, never did it. But, of course, most of y'all know I can and freeze dry and put stuff up in the freezer and you know that's just kind of my thing I enjoy that and there's another something that I've been wanting to uh, try for a long time and that's making butter out of heavy whipping cream sounds pretty simple don't it I mean if you've ever heard of it and I was like surely it can't turn out that good and be that simple well let me tell you it's simple, very simple. Um, matter of fact, if you have kids or a kid, man, that would be a fantastic little project to do with a little one uh, because it's it's almost magical how it happens. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful experience. But anyway, so I made it, and this is kind of just a little intro into that little video. The videos, I doubt it's very long. Uh, I just kind of highlighted it, uh, videoing the, uh, the each different phase as the whipping cream turned to a foam. Then it turned to like a thicker substance, and then all of a sudden the magic happened, and next thing I know I had a big wad of butter. So uh, anyway, I think... I think y'all will enjoy it. I, I haven't even watched the footage, so I don't know, you know how good it is, but it don't matter. Either way, it was fun doing, and uh, it's something that, like I said, if you got kids, there ain't no doubt. Most kids would absolutely love it, because there's no work to it. I used a KitchenAid mixer, um, just poured it in there and turned it on, and I did adjust the speed you know, got a little faster as it got into it and got thicker. But uh, other than that, just, just sit and wait and watch. But uh, anyway, it was cool. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I certainly enjoyed making the butter. It was, that was, that was a fun, fun thing to do. Anyway, hope y'all enjoy it and uh, y'all stay blessed. All right, let's get started. Going to use my heavy whipping cream. I don't know if you can see that. I've already chilled my bowl and I also chilled my whisk in there. Put it on number two, let it run for a little while. Here in just a little bit, we're gonna have some butter. Well, it's getting thicker, so I increased the speed on it. It splattered a little bit, not too bad, so since it wasn't coming out of the bowl, I just left it on the next highest speed. So. We're getting closer. Oh, look how thick it's getting now. Oh, 
It's been mixing uh, about 15 minutes now. Got to be getting close. Oh, well, it's almost like magic. Well, I better slow that down. There was no liquid whatsoever, and then all of a sudden you could start hearing a sloshing. And before I could turn the camera on, it just happened that quick. Well, we got butter. Let's get this thing out of here and uh, we'll take a look at it. Look at that butter. I <laughs> know. If you've never done this, you should try it at least one time. And I don't know, butter may not taste worth eating. I don't know. I ain't got a clue. But it's just always kind of interested me doing this kind of stuff. And it was uh, quite a treat, really, to experience it and see. I mean, like I said, it, it kind of just everything got frothy. Um, and then the next stage, it, it got kind of, I don't know, thick, like whipping cream. Yeah, that's what it looked like, was whipping cream. I'm going to squeeze all this out. But then it was just lumpy, or yeah, lumpy, thick. I actually took a spatula and was going around the edge, folding it back down into it because it's like a lot of it was sticking. And I was afraid it, that it wasn't going to, uh, wasn't working right. But then all of a sudden, like I said, I started hearing sloshing. And I was like, I think that's that buttermilk coming out of it. And you can see it right there. But uh, I said, oh, it's, it's happening. I'm going to turn the camera on. And by the time I turned the camera on, they would buttermilk flying everywhere all over the counter. I had to slow it down. So when it gets to that point, you do want to be sitting here kind of watching it. Look at that big lump of butter. Got me some cold water and I'm just gonna squeeze this butter out. From what I understand, that milk fat that's trapped in here or whatever, it, it uh, can cause it to go rancid. So I just wanna work it around and clean it out. And you can see the water's turning cloudy. And it's cold. Get some more fresh water out right here. Yeah, that's cold. I might not have should put the ice cubes in there. They're sticking in my butter. <clears throat> oh. 
don't know if there's a better way to do this or not. But anyway, that's it guys. That's homemade butter. Hot dog. I want to try it, but I got a feeling just putting it on toast. It might not be as good. I'm, I'm going to have to do a little research and find out how much salt to put in it and whatnot. But I'm just excited for my wife to get home to see a new thing of butter. That's pretty cool. But that's it. Butter. <laughs>